Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed part one of this series. We're about to jump into part two, but before we do, I have to give a huge shout out to my sponsor for this trip, Trade Coffee. Thanks, Trade. Mm. With Trade, you can discover new coffees from the nation's top roasters. Trade matches you to your own personal selection of coffee and conveniently delivers it to you. Are you tired of going to the grocery store, dealing with long lines, lots of people, possibly bare shelves? Well, we're in luck. Since Trade Coffee conveniently delivers right to your door, we'll never have to go without our morning cup again. Woo! So this is how Trade works. Step one, you take the quiz. Tell Trade how you like your coffee and they will curate matches just for you. Step two, it's right to your door. Choose a delivery frequency and it'll appear at your doorstep fresh from the roaster. Step three, rate and repeat. Rate your matches so Trade can continue to delight you with coffees you'll love. So click the link below, get 30% off your first bag of coffee when you sign up, plus free shipping. So once again, click the link below and receive 30% off your first bag of coffee when you sign up. Thank you very much to Trey for sponsoring another video. Let's continue with the series. It's dead calm out there. There's a little bit of a red sky. It's about 7.30. Well, it's 10.30. <laughs> I just kept staying in bed and passing back out. And it's, I'm glad I did. It's gorgeous out right now. There's not a, a breeze to be found. It's a nice, nice sunny day. So maybe I'll get up and make some like brunch. And uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll just take a day pack and go explore around. I'm uh, very comfortable in here. I had a good sleep. I had a really good sleep. Really long sleep. Okay. Up and at him. What a nice day. Just, you know, drying up the old feeties. <laughs> oh. It's going to be a nice day, man. A little bit of a breeze now. Some clouds coming in. Still sun though. That fire went pretty good last night. Oh man, I'm chilled now. Holy smokes. It's so different. So different when the sun comes out. Um fire went good last night. Let's get some uh some wood split up. We'll split up that fat wood like I was talking about. Let's see what that's all about. All about. Oh, it's a pileated woodpecker. Yeah, look at that. That's all super fat wood. Cool. Split a few of these down. Look at that, you can really see it there. Yeah, I can just take off like good sized pieces. I wanna get a baton here, one second. Why a baton, you ask? Just so it's a little bit more controlled. Hero? Is that a second one? Man, it's a beauty day when the sun comes out. That is crazy. So this is all ant, ant holes all through this. I saw some of them coming out before. It's crazy that they can live in that turpentine smelling 
uh, fat wood, which is real waxy again. It's not like normal wood. Okay, I've got a bunch of pieces there. And then I still have a huge chunk here. So let's get some feather sticks going with this stuff and get a fire going. Wow, it's hard to make fine curls with this. There we go. Got to do it the Canadian way. Canadian curls. Look at that. That is wax. This is going to go up like nobody's business, guys. Like, just for demonstration purposes, because I have so very much of it, and I have confidence that this is going to work very well. Still going strong. Look at the look at this is on fire. That is craziness. Still going strong, boys and girls. Still on fire. Crazy. Anyways, as you can see, this stuff is no joke. thing going there she goes and no birch bark necessary huh holy smokes Big old fish just jumped out right there, probably 20 feet from my camp. And that's all super shallow water, which I have not been sh fishing in. So maybe we'll try that today. Can't hurt, right? And even just because they're, they're there, doesn't mean they're biting still. But whatever else I have to tell myself to make myself feel all right, you know? All right. I'm going to eat one of my precious, precious oatmeal this morning. And then I'll have some jerky with that. Still haven't found my gloves. It's very strange. The only thing I can think is when I went to go cut some wood yesterday, I might have left them at the side of the lake somewhere. If that's the case, I gotta go back. But I gotta tear my camp apart first and look. It might be underneath my bed, I don't know. Just real quick over here, this is my food. Jerky, a bag of rice with veg dehydrated vegetables and some spices in there. I got enough rice in there to last me. Fish crisp, <laughs> a healthy amount of fish crisp because you know that's what I need. Butter, one dehydrated meal of chili, 
a potato with some onions and garlic, and I have tinfoil to go that. A lemon for my fish, pancake mix, three things of oatmeal, thing of Lipton soup. This is new to me, Uncle Ben's beans in the uh, in a pouch, so we'll try that um, as opposed to a can. And then I have two Cliff Bars, two granola, three granola bars, two Cliff Bars, three, three granola bars, a little tiny bit of popcorn, some syrup, and some oil. So, not too much meat. I have this for meat, and I have this for meat, and there's not much meat in the chili. So a fish would really, really go a long way. So I'm getting ready to leave, getting my canoe in the water and everything, I look over. Not only are my gloves here, but my secondary GoPro with the tripod and my GoPro head mount. So, good thing it didn't rain too much, but all is well. I got a different lure on, just trolling to the end of the lake here. I'm going to hop on that portage and get into the next lake. Gorgeous out. It's the perfect amount of sun and clouds. These glasses make everything pop like crazy too. All the colors are just super vibrant. nice to see a different lake. We'll go paddle around and see what's up. <laughs> Just look at this lake. Like this is worth it for for the view of this lake alone. Is this a little sand beach up here I see? A little sandy beach. Somewhat. <laughs> a little beach. Very fine sand, too. shoreline is just so very inviting there's like exposed rock like this everywhere it's not too steep either not on this side anyway very pretty lake all this flat rock man it's all real good uh, real estate. I think I'm gonna go check out this island over here and get off for a minute Have a bite to eat. I brought a granola bar. I think it's a cliff bar actually Woo! It's nice and open <laughs> Excuse me Oh, it's been used for sure see signs of people yeah bench the old famous grill at every campsite ever look at this rock 
Tons of little rocks inside of it. Rocks on rocks on rocks on rocks. Fire pit. Hmm. What a gorgeous spot, man. Really. Really pretty. Some contours for days. Wow, this is a really nice spot. Really nice. I'm tempted to move here. Permanently. I'm tempted also to just drink the lake water. Because I'm super thirsty. What I should have done is boiled up some tea or some water this morning, put it in my analogy and brought it with me. I wasn't thinking. I chugged a bunch before I left, but... It's getting late in the afternoon. It was so windy, and it still is out there, but this is pretty protected on this side. This is that island. Hmm. Oh, those clouds are looking wild. just paddling back now it's gonna be like four o'clock by the time we get back I think we got some chores to do and uh, some projects to do still today those clouds man it's intense Nice calm weather we had at the island there has changed. I'm paddling, to, paddling into some decent waves here. Nothing too crazy, but the wind keeps kicking up every now and then. A little bit of white caps out there. I might go take shelter on this island here on the way back just to take a break for a minute. I'm gonna get back and boil me up some water. Raining. I'm back on my lake. I got a score of firewood. But it's actually raining. It's not sprinkling. This is rain. And I'm pretty exposed here. So I do have my life jacket. I mean, sorry, I do have my rain jacket. It's in my backpack in front of me. I should probably get it on and get my camera out of the rain. Darn it. Darn it. I can see blue sky ahead. I think this cloud just needs to just needs to blow by and then we'll be okay. That dark one there. This is the nicest little rainstorm I've ever been in. Sideways rain. Can you see the rainbow? Oh, she's disappearing. A little bit of a rainbow. What does this mean? One side of the lake, the other side.
can trust that. Probably not. Wah, wah. Man, let's see, but I don't think so. I don't think so. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. We're going to leave this um, not too long, actually. Cut it right here above this. Okay, let's see if this will hold. Let's see if this will hold the weight before I start doing anything. I think it will. So I've not made this type of pot hanger before. I better try it with the lid on, actually. Make sure it fits. The reason I'm using this is because I picked this, I was originally going to use this piece of maple that I got um, for firewood before I cut it up, but I don't have anything that has forks around it or like notches or anything like that. This is just all straight red pine and there's barely any kind of like vegetation there. I can cut some live stuff, but why, why do that when I have this? So anyways, have never made this. We're going to see if it works. That's going to hold that just fine. I don't have to worry, I don't think, about that breaking. So next up. If this works, I will be excited. Next up, I gotta flatten this and then kind of drill a hole with my knife through without breaking the integrity of it. <coughs> Excuse me. Yep. Actually, I should measure it all up and everything too. This would be much easier with live wood. <laughs> yeah. Okay. She's gone. Okay, probably as thin as I want to go before I start notching it out or making a, drilling it out I guess. Oh snap, check it out. Oh ho 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 ho. The old multi-tool, forgot I had it. Okay, what on here can do the job and save my uh, knife tip? Of drilling into this dense wood. I have screwdrivers. An awl would be amazing. I don't think there's an awl on here. So, ooh, that fire's pretty hot. Fire's pretty hot. There you are. How's this GoPro look? This is the new 9. I bought the new 9. GoPro 9. Um, this can opener is pretty sharp, but this little saw doohickey thing might work. There's a bigger saw on the outside, but this is a pretty sharp little tool. I'm going to start scoring it, but I'm going to do it on top of a log, not my leg. Log, not leg. This little thing is wicked. Wicked sharp, just digs right in. Wicked sharp. Holy smokes. Yeah. See, it's starting to split too. Oh. Just go easy on it, I guess.
Hmm. There we go. Okay. Through. And I'll just widen it. Okay. Perfect. This is going to work. that pileated woodpecker again. I can't see him, but I can sure hear him. Okay. Stick with me. Now, not everyone is going to think this is a good idea, and that's all right, because it's maybe not. But it will test the strength of the tie-out points for sure. And uh, I'm interested. I kind of like this idea. I'm interested to see if it will hold, interested to see if it will work, and if it's just a waste of time, I should just do things the way I normally do. I normally just, as you guys know, have a set, set way I do things in the bush and stick to it, and it works, but I'm going to try new things every now and then, right? I'm going. Strong toggle in there. Very strong toggle. Okay. Secondary toggler. The toggler. Oh, come on. It's precarious over the fire. up as high as we can this time. Yeah. Much higher. Much higher. Perfect. Sweet. Okay. Much better of an angle. Much higher up. I hope you got to see how I did that with the stick. Look how high up I got it. It's amazing. All right, silly me. I pulled the Joe and forgot to leave enough slack, but I think I can get it here. Okay. Um, so, the idea is, oh no, I'm going to have to make this bigger. I'm going to have to make this hole bigger. I'll be right back. Soft again. Okay, then now we're going to slip this, double this up, and slip this through here. It's going to go no problem. No problemo. Right? You know you want to go in your home. Come on. 
All right, sweet, through. Okay, now we'll pull this down a ways until it fits where it needs to go. This might be difficult now to get that toggle back on after, but we'll see. about there I guess I can move it after doesn't matter so I made two toggles this one's gonna go right here okay and that's gonna hold that right on to there so now I need to put the other toggle oh come on there it is is that a toggle in your pocket? Yes, it is. Doing this the difficult way. Okay. Okay. That looks good. Now I should be able to slide this over. It's off to the side a touch, so it's not perfectly in the center. But, huh. There we go. Let's see. Let's put some weight on it and see what happens. It doesn't really seem to be stressing it at all. Too bad. It's, it's actually all still pretty loose somehow. I'll show you. See what I mean? It's like the, the tab itself is kind of tight but nothing's like it'll just be this one tab if anything else if anything gets ruined at all anyways cool I'll try that out and the cool thing is too where it's positioned I can either like have my chaga tea roasting slowly over to that side you know what I mean taking up uh, a slow roast type thing and just have my fire in the normal spot or I can simply roll some of my fire over and have it just right over like a centimeter a centimeter away who knows this might all just be for not but it works and it's kind of cool taking things uh, this rope is already here you know what I mean might as well use it for something but who knows who knows if I'll like it we'll see let me know in the comments <laughs> Okay, now the only thing is something that I need something to do with that while I'm not using it. If I can slide it over here, I'm gonna just take the toggle out. I'm just take the toggle out. No, whatever. I'll have to do that again one more time. We'll have to figure out a better way. Yeah, I know she's a little saggy too. Cause this isn't tight for some reason that's weird mm. we'll fix it all up next time i have to use it we can just tighten it with this <laughs> okay well it's out of the way now all right uh, time to cook supper i guess we're doing rice and a couple pieces of jerky tonight Drink that water that I boiled up. There's a little bit left in the pot there. Full scoop of this guy. So we got rice, dehydrated, bunch of different dehydrated vegetables in there. And then we'll throw some jerky in near the end. And that'll be supper. We'll save our chili for tomorrow night because I was able to eat meat last night. So I'll stagger it a bit. 
Um, that might even be fine there. Yeah. Just throw that back on. tie a taut line on here that way I can move it back and forth and or take it down easily. That toggle here is not necessary, obviously. Two on the inside, one on the outside. And we can make it tight and move the pot hook if we want. She's gonna go down there and we might want to loosen it a bit to bring it back that way. Okay, it's actually a pretty easy and decent system. So there it is, and because there's less water in it this time, it's not going to go down as far, but I can whoop, use the top line hitch and move it down all as well. That cooks up in my pot and goes in my belly and ends well. Boop. Boop. Not too shabby. I'm kind of impressed with that. So check it out. This is the big crack from yesterday. It was way more open than that, probably three times as, as wide. And the other ones were here, but these were here before. They, these cracks, they always healed up, and then this one came up last night hard. Big spender, we'll do three pieces. I am going to cut them up into manageable bite-sized pieces. I'll go better in the food anyway, that way. I'm not trying to rip it apart and, and savor it a bit more. I hate to admit I lost my spoon. The one uh, Roger Wood Spoons made for me. So Roger, if you're watching this, I do apologize. I will look and look and look and look. But I had it yesterday or the day before, one of those two days I used it. And now I can't find it for the life of me. It wasn't with my gloves either. So I do apologize and I feel really bad about that because I really liked it and it was a very nice gesture. But we'll see what we can do. And if not, maybe I'll commission you to make me another one if you don't mind. Do appreciate it. So I whipped this up anyways. This is all cedar. And uh, it's a spatula. Spatula. This is a hearty enough meal for me. For little Joe. I'm just talking it up. <laughs> It's okay. It reminds me of my 10 day alone, the 10 item uh, trip. These are the same dehydrated vegetables and it gives it the same taste as the rice. All I'm missing is a boiled pike. Boiled pike water. Mmm. Poached pike. It'll do for a couple nights. After I'm done eating this, this pot's going right back on the fire and I'm boiling up some chaga tea and I'm gonna drink that throughout the night again. It was really good last night and it, uh, I know it's good for me. You know what the best is? If you have, if you just add uh, honey to it, if you have chaga and you just add honey, it's freaking on point. Oh, tomorrow I'll show you guys some fire starting stuff with this. I said I would yesterday. Um, yeah, don't let me forget. <laughs> I like my little shelter here. I cleaned it up. 
I have all my room next to me here, my bed. I am going to stick my backpack in here before I go to bed, but I'm toasty, toasty warm in here. Must be a warm night too. But, uh, got my chaga tea on. That food actually did fill me up pretty good. It was enough for me for tonight at least. Fire's rocking out there. It's a nice bit of coals. Chaga tea's on. I'm just taking it easy. Relaxing. Sit here by the fire. Maybe read my book a little bit. And drink my chaga tea. Starting to feel out here. I'm starting to feel like at one. You know what I mean? I'm starting to feel pretty comfortable. Slowing down. Going at the pace that things just happen. So that's the whole point. Feels good. Something, something to be said about sitting on the ground. You know what I mean? Not having a fancy chair that you bring around with you. <laughs> Builds character. <laughs> Stick with me, kids. All right. Shelter is holding up sturdy, man. Nice and taut. Nice and taut. <laughs>